Uh, so just to be clear, this is a mine, mine entrance? Yes, a mine entrance. John, John. John. Can you clear this away? Oh, okay. I'm going to take a look. Oh, what's the name of this mine entrance? Elma. Hey. E L M A. Wow. So the purpose of today's visit is to substantiate what you said in your video about uh, volcanics, I guess, being in place after the limestone that created Jamaica. And what I wanted to show you is the process or the stream of minerals coming out of the central inlier in that they increase in size the closer we get on the real mineral up to the central inlier. And we'll notice that we go from a, a sandy material like the black sand to with fist-sized limestone. The further up we go, the limestone blocks get a little bit bigger and then we'll end up in a main tributary that feeds, drains the southern portion of the central inlier near Bella's Gate, that the limestone blocks are house size. So to me, that indicates that, you know, the bigger the block, the slower it moves. That is my thinking on this, and maybe we can substantiate that a little bit further. Oh. This is interesting, yes. You have you have carbonate. Uh, based on how I can see them set up still, can see imbrication, which indicates that part of it still comes from upstream. But if you look at the banking, though, you can also see signs of higher sources because you can see rounding of the rocks. Those are the corals. Yeah, that's coral fossil, coral fossils, right? There. Yes, sir. Now, you remember the uh, picture of the bivalve from Peter Kelly? Yeah. That came from upstream. Oh. Volcanics. Wow. This is a very powerful river. We can look at how high these boulders are still relative to how I'm standing. Wow. So yes, anyway, still, so we can see, depending on the size of the, of the, of the sediments here, you can see bigger sediments on top, indication of a flood. Here, so it's basically a sign of, of, you know, lower energy. But still, in terms of the banking, it indicates, though, that this river can rise go all the way up top to here, so. Look at that. Was that at one time clay? Is that why it has the uh, shape? That's what made I look funny, because that looked like, more than likely, you would have had some degree of, of energy change some form of settlement liquefaction indication of the state of drought so you can see here this is currently the water table riverbed and yeah that's the height external to the riverbed or to the banks of the riverbed itself. Wow, a serious drought. Take a look at this sedimentary column, specifically focused on the section in the middle, and we are looking primarily at the layers that have black color. Now those layers can be interpreted as iron sands layers, or right? black sand layers. And it's very important for you to understand that what this indicates is that you would have to have the transportation of these minerals from a source 
that is higher upstream to then be deposited here. What it is that you need to keep in mind as well is that where they are deposited or in terms of their size relative to the layers above and below indicate that they are deposited in slow energy time or when the river is not in flood. The other features I want you to pay attention to are those vertical lines, approximately four and above in terms of their numbers. These vertical lines, I interpret them as paleo earthquake indicators. It's as if to say these are micro faults. Uh, if you even look below, in some respects, there are sections that we can see folding of the whole black layers itself. And that basically is representing or indicating that, you know, in, in, in paleo time, there would have been many small earthquakes that would have resulted in layers being disrupted. And hence why we can see certain representations of uplift and downward drop of some of these bands. And the final observation or takeaway I want for you to grasp is that in terms of the black layers of black sand, we can see that it is confined only to the middle. We don't really see any more uh, above this layer. And this is indicating that the source of this layer more than likely is not as uh, prominent in younger time so questions now must be asked is it a case that this source pretty much has done its time and then what it is that we should also consider is based on the thickness of this layer and where this layer actually exists is it also representative further along the length of this river slash river bank in essence this is visual proof of my theories posited in one of the videos I have created earlier, specifically the history of gold exploration in Jamaica, whereby I would have made statements that the potential of the gold, but also of other uh, precious metals, is not just confined to the inliers themselves, but also where the rivers pretty much transport and eventually deposit them. So is it, that is Mitchell Hill? Mitchell's Hill is behind it. You can't see it. Oh, so this hill is, is called which one? The one to the left is called which one? It's Mahogany Hill in your front. Right Mahogany front. Hill. That's carbonate and then we can see. Behind it you have a dry hill on the left and if you pan to the right you go to uh, High Stone Hill. Mm. And then if you look at the shoulder further to the right through the trees that's mm. the Bellas Gate community up there. Nice. I want to 
to congratulate you, congratulate you on your fine politics work. You got the community of Barber Green Road. Yes, sir. <laughs> Welcome to the yes, sir. Long time to see you. John Simmons. Yes. This is O'Shane Bryant. O'Shane Bryant. Nice to meet you, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Nice to meet you, sir. Uh, John, really foreheaded of the, 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 what, the construction crew rehabilitation of the roads around here. Yes. Remember that? Yeah. yeah. Going way back? Yeah, way back in the keys. Yeah, in the keys. Yeah. What can you tell us, Shane, about what you know about the, the volcanics and the history of the area around here when it comes to like mining, going back from what you learned as a youth growing up? Okay, mining was, mining was here for not quite a long time. Mm -hmm. But if you enter a couple of mining, it was a couple of mining. Back from the, from the, from the 18th century to the 19th century. So we closed on about Chicago in the 19th century. Well, from the time you know, mine took place again by blowing the shaft on the hill. Away from other prospects and that took place by other other primary. Mm -hmm. So, can I go to what thought about something? Well, of course, it's not mine again, it's up to the Canadians. They're the oh, ones okay. that have been doing it since what? 10 years ago. When we did the rehabilitation project, yes. that was the Canadians then. They're still here in charge. Uh, and Carver still at the master. Carver the master. Well, yeah, they go by the name of C3 Metals now. Okay, so they just kind of changed names. Below, Below yeah. the Charing, that's from the tributary leading yeah, from the Charing Cross mine. And just to, just for reference, where the Charing Cross ran, mine relative to the Stamford Gold mine? Is it nearby? They they share a common vein. Mm -hmm. Charing Cross is about three quarters of a mile south of Stamford Hill. Mm -hmm. okay. That we were looking at down in Moors. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Right. Is it the same river? Yeah, it's the same river. I got to down Moors. Oh. Now you notice it's void of limestone, for the most part. Yeah, for the most part, I can't see volcanic still on the on the bed itself. Yeah. So it's a minor limestone or minor carbonate, of course, predominantly. Volcanic rock, igneous rock. Yeah, man. When you know, go for fire, I go do. So I called them up. Wow. By a man carrying a, 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 a huge man named Peter Beckford. Uh, All the colonial education of this area, thank you by that one man. Oh. Peter Beckford and Hassan Beckford is from. Them, them control the sugar. Sugar, 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 sugar. Okay. They can control the area. The trees, the mountain, the valley, the river, like marsh, dank, and moon. One man control the area. And just to be clear, we're still on the riverbed. Yes, on the riverbed. So these, so these colonial masters, what well, them build the. What you said this be again? Oh, and they did it on the riverbed back then? Oh. oh. So the river moved? Yes, the river, the river leaf and that's what I cut into the side. Oh, so you're saying that before this was not a river? Is that what it is? Of course it was. Mm, interesting. Yes, I'm driving the road. When you come here, yes, there was road, you know. I'm driving. Yes, there was road, you know. I'm driving back keys. Back keys. Mm. The river direct in the road now. But we used to go for keys. I used to any right drive in the road, you know. Yeah. I remember take over and I remember take over and hit and damage. I remember take over and hit and damage. Yeah. 
So the river changed the course, is that's what it changed the course. You never drive here, so still not this, so we not drive here, but me tell you, before, long time before, right? here's how the road was. Right along. So about how long ago the river changed the course, you, you remember? Ah, oh, so it sounds like, like a, a, a big storm event forced it for just... Ah. Okay. Coffee grow, cry, bring back the peace. So you and I were up top there, right up there. That's where we came out. So we were overlooking this area here. And we were over this yeah. here from a distance. See, what, what you said is my name? Um, Iva. Iva. You have Iva. You have Martin up the top. Yeah. You have. I, this is Iva. Elma. No, Iva, Iva's further up. Okay. okay. One of them near Holt? Holt mine? Holtz. Mine. Yeah. Hop Deer. Hop, so. Yeah, I think that's Holtz. Hop Deer. Hop deer. Yeah. So this one here. Elma. Elma Hop Deer. Yeah. And then you have one near so. Hey, that's either Holtz or Iva. Okay. Ah, Iva. 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 Yeah. Yeah. I forget. Yeah. Yeah, if you go to my website, clarendoncopper.com, yes. you go to the data page, you can access all the maps with all this information. Where are you pointing at? Right there. This is a mine hole. This is high grade copper and silver heat. Yeah, this is where I used to drive across with my ATV. We had a nice road here. And go up this way. That's the mine hole? Yeah, mine. Let me see, let me see how far I can get to it. Right. Yeah, sure. yeah, so, let me tell you how far I go funny. Uh, so just to be clear, this is a mine, mine entrance? Yes, a mine entrance. Can you clear this away? Oh, okay. I'm going to check it out. Oh, what's the name of this mine entrance? Elma. Elma. E-L-M-A. Wow. So about how, how deep this go now? How far in this go? How far in? It's deep going, but it, 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 it breaks all along the way. It's black. It's black? It's black along. Can you stand up? No. You can't stand up. Yeah, man, that messy, man. Oh, freedom. Let me sit now, man. How are you, sir?